Have you Wait seen the movie? Watching this. See. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what they're doing with Gary Busey these days. They've gotten you uh, from out there with your shirt off in Big Wednesday, Wednesday, and they've converted you over to an FBI agent in Point Break, a little more institutional. Then they pretty much turned you crazy with Lethal Weapon, and this guy in Under Siege is a pretty uh, wacky dude. Are oh, they, he's, I don't think he's wacky so much as uh, misunderstood and unhappy. Maybe that can make you wacky. Maybe that's the other side of the equation of wackiness. But he's a Navy executive officer from the USS Missouri, and they're supposed to be pretty much in control. So he's walking a fine line of being in control, but being on the edge of flying into reckless momentum at any time. It was a tight, tight walk. Are those characters pretty fun for you to play that are real complicated and there's a lot behind the eyes? What I discover when I play these parts, first of all, the parts pick me. I don't pick them. And each part that I play is a part of my subpersonalities. So everything that happens with me on the screen is a part of myself. Uh, for real. That's kind of scary when you're beginning because you run from that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Then after doing it for 22 years, you begin to realize that that's a part of your essence. So go for it. It's like leaping toward fear in space with no sign of doubt. That's easy to say until you skydive. Do you skydive? No. Well, you should. You bungee jump? No, I would never bungee jump. That's not, uh, that's not safe, it's not approved. There's never been a failure in a reserve chute in the federal government. Bungee jumping, you can get killed. You can even, fact, in fact, blow your eyeballs out of your skull because of the force of the nature that you bounce when you hit the bottom of the bungee cord. And these people just go set up cranes with the bungee cords to make a little money. That's what they do. They can do it anywhere. You can do it anywhere. And this is coming from somebody who's done their share of daredevil activity in their time, right? I don't know if I've done my share yet. That's still out. The jury's still out on that. But uh, I'm capable of taking risks. It, just now I'm more efficiently mm, secure in my decisions. Do any of these characters, uh, any time since you've been doing this last 20 years, go home with you at night? Yeah, they all do. They all do. I try to hang them up in the wardrobe closet at the end of the day, but you can't get rid of it all because some of it's inside you. Yeah, you do go home with it. You, it's not like working a regular nine to five job. Nothing against a regular nine to five job. Those men and women can go home with the paperwork and the ideas and the concepts and the logical thinking in the office. The office lives in me because I'm playing one of those people and I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut it short. I could cut it short and leave it at, leave it at the, uh, the motor home, but I, I'm not able to do that because it, it follows me around, even in an unconscious pattern. Are you like a sponge when you're around people looking at folks and observing what they do? You find yourself being a people watcher? A people watcher? I like to observe live. It takes me eight seconds to take everyone I see and remove them down to when they were eight years old in their face and their body structure. And therefore, I'm surrounded by children. And that makes me really acceptable and embracing life. So yeah, I'm, I'd like to observe. That's when I had an experience in December that took me to the other side of the line. And uh, when you come back from a trip into the fifth dimension, you understand the preciousness of life in a way that I cannot define to you in the time we have here to talk with the words we're using. <laughs> Does that make sense? Really? Um, when people see you, you know, like fans, and I, I know that they, see, they know who you are for sure. What is it they know you for? Is there a particular role that they say, that's Gary Busey, he was in? Buddy Holly, Buddy Holly. Lethal Weapon, Point Break, Predator 2. Sometimes they mention DC Cab, sometimes they mention A Star Is Born, sometimes they mention Gumball Rally, mm -hmm. Straight Time, Big Wednesday. It's just a uh, Sometimes. But you have done a great variety of films. That's, that's been <clears throat> fortunate for you, hasn't yeah. it? No one's really been able to typecast you. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know if anyone's tried. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm actually typecastable. I guess we all are in a sense, but I've been given a journey of uh, like a chameleon. I'm in a different jungle or forest every time I go out. But it's up to me to accept that. The big confusion that happens to me is, uh, and it happens to Nick as well, is Nick Nolte and I mm -hmm. are confronted by fans, people, as would ask me what it's like to work with Eddie Murphy and ask him what it's like to get his arm burned in Lethal Weapon. So 
I can see the similarity. I, really, I never thought about that before. There's but, no I mean, similarity. You're both physically uh, similar. Your eyes are pretty close to being the same. That, that's interesting comparison. I never thought of that. Well, it's just Stanton happens a lot. That's yeah. the big. That's most. That's the big thing. I wasn't working with anyone. Anyway, long story. Uh, what kind of movies does Gary watch at home? Or do me? You? Mm -hmm. Whatever's on. Are you really a particular kind of movie person? No. No, I just flip around and something catches me that I'm. My curiosity. My integrity is honored in an alluring way. I watch it. If it's unpredictable, if I don't, if it's predictable, if it's obvious, if it's flat, if it's no life, then move on to the next commercial. What if it's you? What if it's me? I've seen it before. Why well, look at it again? I know what it's like from the inside out. Oh, it's fun though. It's fun to watch Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly is uh, out of 22 years of making movies. That movie for me, from A to Z. <laughs> Magnificent, but I had nothing. You look to do so with different it. in that. I guess that's probably easier for you to watch because you're. No, that doesn't have anything to do with it. It doesn't have anything to do with it. It's the honesty. It's the honesty in the music and the fact that I'd done five pictures in a row without a day off by that time. And when they dyed my hair curl, they gave me glasses and those clothes. I couldn't find Gary Busey anywhere, and that's a safe place to be when you're not around to get in your way. I enjoyed it and all your stuff in my pistol. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Right. Okay. I saw.